This is intended to be a quick tutorial on how to install the MakeBlock software uh, for Arduino. And so uh, there are two things that you have to do. I've included both, or excuse me, all the files you need, uh, once again, in the resource section of our OEC Outreach uh, t Square site. Uh, if you go under High School, I'm going to use Make Blocks with High School. If you click that, there's a folder called Installation. And if you click that, uh, it has some things in here. Now let me explain this. Uh, under Installation, you have a folder called Make Block. Uh, you have two URLs, and you have an executable file. What I'm going to show you here is uh, using the executable file and the Make Block folder. These two URLs will lead you to the files that are included uh, for this installer and for uh, and for the make block. So these two files here, these two URLs, the drivers one will lead you uh, to the installer down here, and the libraries one will lead you to the make block. I've already downloaded those and extracted those for you uh, to make things a little bit easier here. But if you want to go from scratch, you can use those. Uh, so. What we'll be doing here is there are two files or two things that need to be done to properly install this. The first thing is to do the drivers. And so uh, the way you do that is you'll click on this file here, install drivers, and it'll ask you uh, where you actually want to save it as. Uh, I've done this before. I put it on my desktop. Uh, so I advise you to do this. Now, it's probably wise to be logged in as admin on the machine in order to do this. Uh, so go ahead and log in as admin to get this done. But nevertheless, you would save the installer uh, onto your desktop. And then if you go to the desktop here, you can see I've saved it on. And then it's just a normal installer. If you double click it, it will ask you to run it. You will run it, and it will go ahead and install all your drivers. Now it may take a while, but let it run, and we'll install the proper drivers. So do this. Before you plug in anything, before you turn on the Arduino, any of that, go ahead and do this. Okay, so that will give you a successful install there. Now, once you've installed the drivers properly, then you go back here and you have to install, you go to this folder, this make block folder, and open it up. And there's some files you have to install. Uh, you really only need two the make block.cpp and the make block.h. The other three you don't need. In fact, let me go ahead and remove those uh, right here because you don't need them. If you want to gain access to them, once again, you can use the URL uh, that I just showed you. Uh, the URL will also lead you to uh, some example files, uh, which there are 109 of them. And so, or it's, it's really complex. So if you want the example files, Go to the URL and you can download the zip file, unzip it, and get all the example files. But uh, what I'm doing here is just streamlining the process so that you can get it up and running faster. All right, so these are the two files that you need. Uh, so the question is, where do you put them? And so uh, let me show you, just as with, I'll put this over to the side. If you open up the Arduino environment, And I do not think on the Mac that you need to install drivers. Uh, let me see here while I'm, while I'm at it. Let me see if you need to install drivers here uh, for the Macs. Uh, it appears that you do. Uh, so I'm going to have to go back and look at the Mac. So what I'm doing now is primarily for the PC. So I'll go back and look at the Mac. So if you're training in the lab, they're all PCs, this will work. Uh, if you're on a Mac um, instead of a PC laptop, then you've got to, uh, then you can go to the URL and it will instruct you on how to do the, um, the drivers for the Mac. Macs usually don't need drivers, that's why I didn't think about it. Okay, so, but let's go ahead and to finish this installation for the libraries for the uh, for the make block and Arduino. So I go here, I open up an Arduino, if I hit file preferences, uh, you can see there's a URL here, URL here, excuse me, a pathway here. 
So I'll control C, copy that, close the Arduino environment. If I click on make block uh, CCP, the link, uh, the file there, I go up here and paste the directory. So now what I need to do is go into libraries and I need to make, if there's not a make block folder there, you need to create it. When you create it, you open it up and then uh, you go ahead and hit save. I already have one in mind, but if you hit save, it'll place it in that make block directory. So what you should have is a make block directory. Uh, and then you click on that and then you go ahead and hit save and it'll put this make block.cpp file in there. Okay. Uh, the other file you need is the H, same thing. You click on that um, and then you go ahead and copy and paste your sketchbook folder there. Go into libraries, go into make block, and then save it, and you'll do the make block dot h one. Okay. So when you finish, what should what should happen is oops, under uh, local admin documents Arduino. If you go into libraries, there should be a make block library, uh, and it, I believe it might be case sensitive. So go ahead and put the capital there. And then you should have these two files in here. Okay, and that's all you need to make it work. He'll put an example folder in there, uh, to put some examples in there, but this is all you need to make it work. So once you have that, then if you open Arduino back up, you should be good to go. Uh, and that should, uh, let's go ahead and let it come back up here. Uh, a quick note. Uh, Make sure you choose your board when you're using the make blocks. You choose the Arduino Uno board. And then um, once you plug in uh, your make block, uh, it will take a while for the drivers to load, about four or five minutes. So give it some time, be patient. It will start loading the drivers, and then it will come back and tell you what COM port it's on. Usually it's the highest one. Mine is on COM port 87 right now. Okay, so that's the installation process. Uh, all the computers in the lab should have it on it, but I'm showing you this just in case you get out in the field, get out in the classroom, and you need a way to install uh, what you need. All right, so that concludes this intro, and then we'll go on and start uh, start showing some lessons that we'll teach in class.